when I tattoo people, it gives them a sense of identity and strength. Our tattooing was a form of adornment, and our, our permanent makeup was our way to, to feel beautiful and look beautiful. My name is Marjorie Tabone, and I am helping revitalize the ancient art of traditional Inuit tattooing. All of my tattoos have meaning that's deep to me and to my family, and that's how all tattoos that I give are. I do two techniques. One of them is called hand poking or stick and poke, and that's where you have the needle and you dip it in the ink and then you puncture it into the skin. I use our other ancient technique of skin stitching uh, with needle and thread, and that's where you have a needle that's threaded, and I use cotton string, and you dip the string in the ink, and then you pass the needle through the skin in and out. It's a little bit more painful than the poking, huh? Even though we've had tattooing since time immemorial, thousands and thousands of years, revitalizing it and bringing it back is still new. Traditional Inuit tattooing, the meanings vary from place to place. Inuit women have always received traditional chin tattoos. Usually always meant when uh, a woman became of age. The most important thing is that it's important to the person who's receiving them. When the missionaries came and colonization started to happen, you know, tattooing stopped. It's been put to sleep for about a hundred years. Me coming in as a, as a young Inubel woman, you know, who am I to think that I could do something that my ancestors did so many years ago? When I asked the elders if it was okay to do this, they said, yes, you need to be strong. And now it's reawakening with this revitalization effort. I could feel that strength and I could feel that healing happening when uh, I give a tattoo. I want to pass the knowledge as best I can. I've dedicated my life to learning and perpetuating our culture for the betterment of our people and our youth and the next generation.